Hello, hello everybody, Sambo here. Welcome back to my channel and apologies for being a little bit absent for uh, over the past few days. Well, we're back into it now and we're really going to start building on our new city that we've been working on in the past few videos. And in today's video, we're going to start with a bit of a industrial area and a little bit of a office space, but also it kind of branches out into some residential, commercial, and um, it's just really a nice way to start this whole city. city. So this is Al Samhara city and we're starting on the outskirts because I haven't really thought about what exactly I want to do for the, the actual downtown inner areas of the city. So we'll get eventually to that area, but we want to, I want to start on the outskirts first and just really just get the feel of everything and see what pops into my head. So we're starting over here. This is the industrial area and um, it's not going to be a huge industrial area because all of the industry, it has to come from the other countries. So pretty much all of the industrial space, it is mainly going to be in Burgessy, which is the other country. And then in this country, they're going to more have tidy looking warehouses and modern offices and they're not really going to have the the dirty industry they're not going to have the the polluting areas they're not going to have the big chimneys coming up everywhere so it's going to be a tidy industry area so a little bit different from what we're probably used to doing but this is where it's going to be and um, we're going to have a very simple on and off uh, ramp for the highway so we're using um, this side here which feeds them directly into the industrial space and of course like I always say there's going to be more highway entrance and exit ramps placed completely throughout this whole city but we just haven't put them in yet because I'm only going to put them in in areas where we really need them and where I plan on putting in um, like a, a lot of uh, people in a certain area so High density, that's what I'm trying to say. So we have this side, that they've got a very simple on and off ramp. I update the highway there to four lanes because I want the fourth lane to be where they enter in. And then that way they don't have to do a lot of annoying merging straight away. They kind of have time to merge and get it all going without actually a big traffic jam. And um, also, since the highway goes underneath the ground here, we're going to use that to our advantage. So instead of doing a elevated road or a tunnel, we're just going to follow the natural terrain, which just happens to go above the highway. And we're going to use that. So on this side where I just cleared all of the trees, that is going to be our other exit for an well, exit and entrance for um, this area. Now, there is going to be a couple of sharp turns here and there, but you just have to wait and see how it goes because I do have plans on different things, but um, it's hard to fully imagine everything at the moment because like when I build this in the industrial area and when I build the offices and things like that in this area, it kind of looks very, very random because it's like, it just it doesn't really, there's nowhere else to compare it to. Like we only have the other city, which is completely different. So just keep in mind, this is the start of a whole new city. So things might look a little bit out of place until you guys start to kind of understand the theme that we're going for and the type of road system and just the general look that we're going for. And you might have noticed I made a really big intersection over there to the left. So it has, what was that? One, two, three, four different ways for them to go. And um, I did that on purpose because I want there to be a lot of traffic. I want to manage it. I want to do like time traffic lights and things like that. I want it to be really cool and interesting. So um, I hope it gets busy over there because we are really close to the highway entrance and exit ramps. So there's probably going to be a lot of traffic. Now, when the trucks come off the, the lane there, you might be thinking, well, if they turn left, that's really sharp. So I'm going to ban trucks from going left. They can only go right, which then they have to go up along the road which follows um, up above the highway. So they can't turn left because that's going to be more for just the other type of traffic. And then we're going to hopefully get all of the truck traffic to go up here where we're looking at and over the highway. So we're just trying to separate the two areas, which I think is going to help us in the long run as well. And um, that's always something that, something that I always try to do. And I think when I was doing the city, the city fix videos, a lot of people weren't really separating the traffic and it's not something that you generally think about, but it really does help. So you guys think about that in the future, separating traffic and um, you might find that it's really, really good. Yeah. <laughs> 
So when the trucks come off here, we have this four lane road and I'm not going to add on any buildings right on there because I don't want the trucks to come off the highway and then suddenly, oh, there's a truck pulling out of a building or something like that. So there will be buildings around this area, but none of them will be actually on the road that's directly linked to the highway entrance and exit ramp. So, and that's just helping with the flow. And eventually when there's going to be more traffic coming through this whole area, it's really going to make such a big difference. Now this part right here, I'm putting down some office buildings because they're going to mask the area between the commercial and residential versus the industrial. So we're going to put the the office space in the middle. So it's just going to act like a barrier, but it's not going to be an ob obvious bar barrier. And originally I was going to do the industry as just the generic industry, like the vanilla ones, which is actually what I put in and I zoned it all. I just let them build up, but I didn't really like the look of it because, um, the, the idea that we're going for is this country is more modern. They import a lot of things and they're not really producing much. So they don't really have the dirty grungy industry. What they have is warehouses. So, um, you'll see in a minute that all of the, uh, the vanilla industry buildings, I delete all of those and actually change them to the warehouse style industry buildings. So the in the warehouse style buildings, we have the actual uh, in-game vanilla warehouse bu buildings from the industries DLC, but I also have other ones that still act as industry uh, buildings. They're still producing things, but they just don't look as grungy as the ordinary uh, industry buildings that have the chimneys and pollution and things like that. So yeah, I think it looks a lot better like that. It looks really tidy, it's clean. Um, it's still going to function, it's still going to provide provide jobs, and um, but it's just not as grungy looking. And I think it, it looks cleaner, it looks modern as well. So we still have warehouses where they can import things from the other country. It all still functions, so it's really not too much of a big deal. So that's how our industrial is going to be for this country in general. Now, I also did a few other things. So off camera, I just kind of went a little bit crazy. I was like, okay, let's just build things. I put in more office buildings, but I wanted some towers because in the other country, we really don't have many office buildings for some reason. I don't know why. I thought, okay, we definitely, definitely, definitely need more office buildings over here. And um, I thought, what a great spot to put them right there because in the future, that's going to be a big traffic area. It's going to be noisy. So we don't want to put residential right there. They, we, I do put some residential nearby, but not right on it where it's going to be the noisiest. And actually, I think it looks really good. Gives you guys a bit of an idea of how this whole city is going to look. I want it to be colorful. I want it to be modern, not fully modern in all areas, but I want there to be nice modern aspects in some areas. And um, I think at intersections is where the modern areas are really going to be highlighted. So I'm just placing in a few more buildings. We've got some residential there, we've got some commercial, but for some reason, some of the mods weren't working properly. And I was like, well, that's a bit annoying. So I went off camera, tried to fix it up, but some of the mods still weren't working. So we were actually going to cut the video short because I was planning on doing a whole lot more uh, expansion throughout here, but some of the Anarchy mods weren't working. They were, they, there must've been another mod that um, they were clashing with. So uh, unfortunately we have to cut it short, but in the next episode, we're going to uh, do a lot more expansion over here because there's kind of a imbalance at the moment. We have a lot of industry, we have a lot of offices and commercial, but we don't have any residential over here. We have some, but it's really not enough anyway. And we don't want to have a huge influx of people coming from the other country because then it's not really, it's just not how I want it to be. I want that country to be over there and this country to be over here. And I don't want, don't want there to be too many people going from either side to side because then it's going to be a huge amount of random traffic and it's not going to, it's not going to look right to me. <laughs> And also by having the warehouse style industri industry buildings, it, in my opinion, allows us to build residential closer because it doesn't look as grungy. And I think if you were to put a big uh, in a residential tower next to the grungy industry, it just wouldn't look right. Whereas if you have warehouses, it looks neater, it looks tidy. And um, I can actually think of places 
where I've been in like hotels where I look out and I see warehouses and I didn't think anything of it but if I was looking at and I saw like big industrial chimneys and things like that I wouldn't really like that so I think doing it this way is also somewhat strategic and it, allow, it allows us to put more industry throughout the city without it actually being as noticeable as noticeable as the typical uh, vanilla industry buildings. Anyway, we're going to cut the video here. So I just added in a few more seating areas, but nothing too fancy at the moment, but at least we've got this area going and um, yeah, I'm liking how it looks so far. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna go check out the mods and see what's going on, why it's broken, and hopefully I'll get back to it all very, very soon. I wanna get actually onto all of this, do a lot of expansion, get this whole city up and going. But there it is, looks really good. I like the the building the building choices and the colors and things like that. So catch you guys next time.